Concept 2, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Graphing. Alright, so we did take a look at solving a system of linear equations that we created from a word problem. Now we're going to look at um, just a system of equations where we're just given the equations. Okay, um, We're still looking for the same thing. We're still looking for the intersection where those two lines meet. Okay, that's going to be our solution. So our solution is always going to be an ordered pair. Okay, one x, one y value. Or, as we looked at in the last video as well, we might have um, infinite solutions or no solutions, depending on if our lines are parallel or if they overlap. Okay. Um, when we have them in y or slope-intercept form, where we have y equals mx plus b, um, that should be a fairly straightforward line to graph. We're going to start by graphing our y-intercept. So this top one is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. And this second one is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, positive 10. And then we can walk it down using our slope. So here I'm going to come down negative 2 over 1. Put a point, negative 2 over 1, 2 over 1, negative 2 over 1. Okay, and that should be enough for me to get an idea. And then with this one, it's 3 over 1, so up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. And I can graph my lines, um, although I can already see that I am going to have an intersection here. Um, so it should be something about like that. And my second line should be about there. Okay. And so I can see my intersection is at 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So for graphing, it's going to be 3, 4 is my solution. Now you might also see that my graph kind of is off a little bit, right? My lines are off. It's hard to get them exact on the computer. It's also sometimes hard to get them exact on your paper. Okay, so um, when you are graphing these, make sure that you are as neat as possible and you get your lines exactly on those intersections because you can often um, get them off just a little bit and suddenly, oops, that's not what I want to grab. And suddenly it looks like a completely different point or like it's intersecting not at a point at all. Okay, so be careful with your graphs. Make sure they line up correctly. Now, let's look at another one. So here we have um, our system of equations. Okay, it's a system, so we're still looking for a coordinate. Okay, uh, um, ordered pair for our solution. Our first one, our first is a slope-intercept form equation, so we can do that. Come down 7, that'll be our y-intercept. Um, and let's go ahead and finish graphing this one. So our y-intercept is negative 7, and our slope is 1, so it's going to be up 1 over 1. Okay. And that will be our line for that equation. Okay. Um, now our second one is not in slope-intercept form. So we have a couple options with that. Um, we can either try and graph it in some other way, or we can try and um, turn it into a slope-intercept form equation. Now, you can do whichever one you're most comfortable with. You have taken standard form equations and turned them into slope-intercept form equations. But one thing we've also done is um, we have figured out our intercepts using a standard form equation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, okay, if y equals 0, I'm going to have 3x equals 6. And if x equals 0, I would be left with 2y equals 6. 
Okay, so in this case, I divide both by 3, and I would get x equals 2. And for this one, I divide both by 2 and get y equals 3. Okay, so then I would plot those points. 3, so my y-intercept is 3, my x-intercept is 2. And this one will be a little bit harder for me to graph on the computer, but you can um, pretty easily graph that line once you've got both points. Um, just go, it should be right about like that. Okay, and of course this line would keep going up. Um, but here I can see where my y or my um, intersection is. It is at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 3. So 4, negative 3, and that would be my answer. Okay. All right, last one. Now we've got another equation in slope-intercept form, and we've also got one in um, point-slope form. Okay, so let's start with this one again. Positive 2, and then 1 half x. So I'd go up 1 and over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Okay, I can draw my line. And there's my line. Okay. Now this one, um, I can do it a couple different ways. If I recognize that this is a um, point-slope form equation, I can take my y and my x value, okay, or my y and my x point, right, and take the opposite. So instead of negative 5, that would be a positive 5 for y. And for my x, that would be a positive 6. So this would be an ordered pair that this line falls on, and I can graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, and already it looks like I have an intersection. And then I'd look at my slope, see that I have a one-half slope, and I could walk that. You know, one up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and here I am recognizing that my lines are actually overlapping, right? They're actually the same line, okay? And if they're the same line, they hit on every single point, that means I have not just one solution, but infinitely many solutions, okay? So infinite solutions, infinite. Oops, I misspelled that. Anyway. Um, infinite solutions, and um, sometimes you will um, have that happen if my lines had the same slope, but they didn't hit on the same y-intercept. So instead of being completely overlapping, it looked like this. That would be a case where I had no solutions. Okay, So if they overlap, infinite solutions. If they're parallel, no solutions.